Hey everyone, Wags here from Eagle Dynamics. And in the open beta this week, we uh, plan to release an option for uh, an alternate way to slew the uh, seeker of the infrared maverick, uh, mainly because uh, there's been uh, some widespread issues with uh, using the infrared seeker slew uh, using the very popular Thrustmaster Warthog throttle, uh, mainly because to do it realistically, you have to be uh, pressing down on the TDC switch while at the same time slewing. And um, the two of these inputs tend to be uh, canceling each other, causing a problem. So what we've done is, uh, with the open beta this week, we'll add an option for both a realistic TD slew and a not so realistic one. So this can be found uh, when you go to your options, uh, you select F18, and you go to the uh, special tab, and we have a new button here called the realistic TDC slew. Now when it's checked, it will use just like it does uh, before. Realistically, you'll have to be pressing down on the TDC uh, in order to uh, slew it around. But if you go ahead and uncheck it, then it uses a system that's actually pretty similar to what we had with the A10C uh, Warthog Maverick slew, and that you don't have to be pressing down, you can just slew it at will. And once you have placed the cursors or the crosshairs over target, uh, after one second of no slewing uh, action, it will attempt to search for and lock onto a target within those crosshairs. If it doesn't see anything, it'll go into the break lock mode, meaning those crosshairs uh, push out. And if it does, then it'll go ahead and uh, lock on and the crosshairs will collapse in. Okay, so let's go ahead and actually take a look at this in the game. Okay, so we're in the cockpit now. Let's take a look at this in action. So naturally, the first thing we'll do is we'll set the uh, TDC to the uh, left TDI where the Maverick is. And now, without having to press down on the uh, TDC switch, we can go uh, up and down, right and left without any pressing. And actually, we can still uh, adjust our zoom. And if we uh, just leave the uh, crosshairs there without any slew at all, it'll go into break lock mode after a second. But we can still slew it and place the uh, crosshairs over target and it'll latch on there, indicated also by a good lock with no X through the Mav F on the HUD. And we can zoom it off. Now we've got the X through the Mav F again, indicating no lock. Moved over a target. Lock. And rifle. So as you can see, it's a, it's a very uh, straightforward system now, uh, and it should make the life of those with the Warthog throttles a heck of a lot easier. Anyhow, I really hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.